This forecast is powered by Burgess Awning, South Jersey's family owned and operated awning shop. I swear every now and then I have to check my phone and really make sure what date it is. Temperatures are not feeling like we're in early February, maybe early April. Currently sitting at 47 in Hamilton, 51 for Mays Landing in Millville and Bridgeton, 52 out in Fortescue and 50 for the Cape May area. Under normal circumstances, if we actually had some sun out there, we would actually enjoy the day, but clearly that wasn't the case. We had the cloudy skies and we had some rain that is finally wrapping up and getting offshore. Northwest winds at just about five miles an hour. And these winds will likely pick up a little bit late tonight and early tomorrow morning, but we're not looking at any kind of extreme gusts. So periods of steady rain were with us this morning into early afternoon, but right now you just got a couple lingering residual showers out to the west behind the system as it moves right along this frontal boundary. Out to the west, we have some drier air, and that gets here for tomorrow. I think most of the day is going to be dry, so that's why we're going with the word better for your Wednesday. It's not a perfect day. I think we wake up to partly sunny skies, but ultimately the clouds are going to move back in in the afternoon, and the rain is going to come back later on in the day as well. After that system pulls away on Thursday, an Arctic blast is coming our way right in time for Valentine's Day, and I'm going to issue it right here right now a severe cuddle watch is in effect. We might have to pull that trigger and issue a warning because I think by uh, Saturday morning, especially real field temperatures could get down into the single digits, but it's not gonna last, all right? By Sunday, we start to rebuild our temperatures. Clouds continue to move off to the east. I think we clear out nicely overnight. We'll wake up to partly sunny skies first thing in the morning, and then the clouds will waste no time moving right back in late afternoon we're overcast again. And then here come some showers, possible around the dinner hour. That'll all push up to the north. And then another round of rain comes through on Thursday, which we have to watch closely out ahead of the potent cold front. We could potentially be looking at some thunder boomers, a very similar scenario to what we saw on Friday. So uh, as we get closer, we'll dive into those details a little bit more. 35 tonight, those temperatures are going to drop steadily. Not as warm as last night, that's for sure. 46 on your Wednesday, partly sunny to start. The clouds will increase and we'll throw in that late day rain. How about mid and upper 50s? I think that's possible south and east to Hamilton, probably upper 40s or lower 50s to the north and west. So it's all about location, location, location. Of course, we have the scattered shower threat with us. We're probably going to pick up another third of an inch of rain across the area. And that's just going to add on top of the almost three inches of rain we've seen so far for this month. And crazy thing, all right? If you were to find the snow equivalent from the first day of February, we'd be up to almost 30 inches of snow. Mind blowing. And 10 years ago, we actually did have over 30 inches of snow on the ground from two back to back storms. I remember that like it was yesterday, my first year in uh, broadcasting, actually. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can also go to my website, nor'easternick.com, and download my free South Jersey weather app called Norcast Weather. Here we are, cold, bright for Valentine's Day Friday. We're cold on Saturday at 35, but then the above average temperatures come crawling back on in, lower 50s, unsettled again. Ugh, by Tuesday, 54 with some rain showers.